boys and girls. So today we talked about developing a theme in our story. And today I wanted you to think about what your story is really about. And you want to find yourself wanting to tell your story in a completely new way. And you can plan to rehearse this by writing a new draft or just starting on the story that you have. But you basically want it to hint at a larger meaning early on in the story and then develop that deeper meaning throughout the rest of the story. Um, you have a paper that was given to you that looks like this. And what I want you to do is on this line right here, I want you to go ahead and write what is the true meaning behind your story, not what is my story about. For example, maybe you're writing a story about football, your first football game. Maybe you're writing about your brother and when you climbed a tree with your brother. But that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking for the theme. Remember, a universal theme is something that applies to everybody and it's a life lesson. It's inspiring. Something like about friendship or courage or don't judge a book by its cover. It's something that you would say to inspire people that could apply to everybody. If you write something here like, well, I learned to wear a helmet when I ride my four-wheeler. That is not a theme because it doesn't apply to me, for example. I don't have a four-wheeler. And so riding a four, wear a helmet when you ride a four-wheeler doesn't really apply to me in life always, okay? Yes, I would wear a helmet as I ride a four-wheeler, just saying that, but that's not what I'm talking about when I'm de describing a theme. So go ahead and write that down on your line. And if you're having trouble coming up with themes, you can even Google um, ideas for themes or things like that, if that's becoming a hard thing for you. Uh, when I think about theme, uh, we have to think about our internal thoughts, what's going on inside of our head, just like this uh, cute movie called Inside Out. If you haven't seen it, um, you can see the trailer online too, but it, it, it focuses on what the internal conflicts are going on with the characters in a really um, real way by describing her different emotions, whether it's joy, anger, um, disgust, and I forget the other one, but she did, she uses her emotions to talk about those conflicts, which is exactly what you are going to be doing today as well, using this plot diagram chart. If you will see on the top of our plot diagram chart, we have the external thinking, the physical events that are happening. And what you're going to do is you're going to plot out the different parts, thinking about the exposition, the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and then the resolution. All the things that are going on the top of this plot diagram are things that you can physically see happening in your story. The things that are going on on the inside would be internal emotions, things that we can't see physically. So internal thinking, emotions, that would all go on the inside and they have to correlate with whatever is going on on the top of the plot diagram. Um, I always encourage kids, I think it's easier just to start with the climax because that's the most exciting part of your story and then work backwards and work forwards to that resolution. Let me give you an example from our mentor text, Everything Will Be Okay by James Howe. If you take a look at this, you can see how on the top I have the exposition, the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and the resolution. And these are all the physical events, things that you can see with your eyes if we were to actually watch this happen in a movie. Now the things on the inside of this chart or is that internal conflict going on with the character? Things that we can't see, but we can tell that they're happening because the character wrote about them in a way that made them come alive. Once again, I, all of these point to that universal theme. The universal theme in Everything Will Be Okay by James Howe was being different is not always easy. And he realizes that at the very end. So your goal here is that you would get a chart that looks just like this, where you have mapped out your, your diet, your plot of your story, the personal narrative that you're working on. Well, like I said, I encourage you to start with that climax. That's going to be the easiest thing to do. And then go back and think about your emotions that happened each time those events happen. So just like in the climax of Everything Will Be Okay, Paul brings James to that back room. And well, we see that happening but what we don't see is he's nervous, he's wondering what's going to happen to Smokey. And so that's the internal um, that you're going to write about on the inside. Okay, so um, this is something that you're going to want to keep in your English folder when you are done, or you're going to want to take a picture of it, and then you can put it into your files or your album for English. But uh, this is your end goal that we're looking for, is coming up with your universal theme by thinking about your internal as well as those external conflicts.